If you have watched the anime Classroom of the Light, you will be curious to know more about the mysterious white room. In this video, I am going to explain everything you need to know about the white room. So let's get into it. The white room is a secret establishment founded 20 years ago by Professor Aino Koji. It is an educational institution which functions completely different from normal ones. It is a place which proves that limits of a person are decided not by one's genetics but by the environment in which they are raised in. Here, students are raised in a restricted environment where they are taught a lot of things every day which push them to their limits. It was the goal of the White Room to have children to be nurtured and raised with a complete education straight from birth. They believed that humans that excel in various aspects of life can be raised by pushing them to learn everything and imposing strict rules right from a young age. The White Room began with the first generation 20 years ago with a new generation of students forming annually. As of now, the White Room has had 19 generations of students in total. Each generation is educated under different leaders and receives the corresponding education. It would then be evaluated that which group had the most effective education. Also, Ichika, a white room student mentioned that all the classrooms, corridors, living chambers and pretty much everything around them was a world full of pure whiteness. The white room is made to raise a perfect human who excels in all aspects of life like academics, physical activities and intellectual activities. It is an educational institution which threw away any unnecessary activities to the extremes like free times, entertainment and stuff like that was not given there. They were constantly monitored and only a limited time for toilet breaks and baths were allocated. They were trained by professional instructors and fighters to hone their knowledge, skill and abilities in all sorts of areas over time. White Room teaches many different fields like liberal arts, science, martial arts, self-defense techniques and much more, all of which are above the professional level. Their goal was to produce a lot of exceptional people which helps Japan to grow in a way that world has never seen before. Essentially, White Room was a factory that produces geniuses. You can't talk about White Room without mentioning the perfect product of White Room, Aino Koji Kyotaka. He was from the demonic fourth generation which was the hardest and most cruel generations of all. Kyotaka himself stated that he was the best student to ever come out of the White Room. He said that White Room is in fact the most efficient place in the earth to raise a human. As a result of Aino Koji's huge success in the White Room, he is being used as a benchmark for future generations. Everyone in the White Room knew about Kyotaka. He was the one that surpassed every other student there. Many students idolized Kyotaka because they understood that it is impossible for them to achieve what he have achieved. But many others showed jealousy and hatred towards him as rivals and they worked towards surpassing Kyotaka. The faculty were instilling the feeling of wanting to surpass Kyotaka, but nobody has done it so far. As I said earlier, each generation of students followed different ideals. These were used to evaluate which produces better results. The fourth generation focused on individualism. The only one that was able to survive this generation was Aino Koji Kyotaka. This generation was known as the demonic fourth generation. It was the most brutal and cruel generation out of all of them. They were trained under excessive individualism which made them to focus on surpassing everyone and becoming the top student. Everyone trained to become the best in that generation. It is what gave Kyotaka the mentality that no matter what, as far as he wins in the end, that's all it matters. Another important generation in the white room was the fifth generation. This generation focused on communication and collaborations. It was the opposite of fourth generation. The students from fifth generation were required to have interpersonal communication. Their communication skills and ability to interact and collaborate with others were insane. Also, they were trained like previous generations in terms of academic and physical activities. These geniuses who were made in the white room was far more intelligent than a normal person. They were able to crack any tough examinations easily and was outstanding in physical activities as well. That's all I have to say about the white room. What are your thoughts on the white room? Drop them in the comments below. If you have enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and see you in another video.